Now to our exclusive. NBC News is the first foreign news organization to go inside the lab in Wuhan, China, at the center of controversy. Janice Mackey Freyer with what they allowed us to see and how they're responding to allegations the virus originated there. The high security lab inside the Wuhan Institute of Virology at the center of a political storm over how the pandemic started. I'm confident there's no need. 100%. 100%. Yuan Jinming is the lab's director. NBC News was granted the first independent media access. While there's some skepticism about the lab's claims, five leading virologists familiar with lab protocols told us it's improbable that the virus was made or escaped. The lab itself is a box within a box with airlocks and high security. Technicians in positive pressure suits were trained in France and the U.S. I also want to know how the virus got to the market or Wuhan, he says. Up to now, there is no clear answer. China virus, the China plague. Kung flu. Amid accusations, China's government downplayed the severity of the outbreak here. The U.S. and China have been locked in a battle over the origin of the virus. There's evidence that it came from the laboratory. U.S. officials have offered no credible evidence linking the virus to the lab. It is unfortunate that we have been targeted as a scapegoat. China faces global backlash for failing to contain the outbreak early on and for a lack of transparency as it spread. Scrutiny of the lab was fueled by a State Department cable from U.S. officials in January 2018 about safety and a shortage of trained staff. Lab officials claim U.S. diplomats visited only once in March 2018 and didn't see the high containment lab. The State Department declined to clarify. And Lester, we've been told the World Health Organization will not be investigating the Wuhan lab as a possible source of the virus. Uh, Janice, thank you.